Fighting is a difficult skill to learn, so I will show you the best things you can do to win fights. Before we hop into the tips, let me thank you for clicking on this video. And you're going to want to watch to the end, because these tips will change the way you fight entirely. The first tip is to never leave yourself open. This is a common mistake I see in many fights. People will often leave themselves open while healing, reloading, or thinking. This mistake is especially common at the beginning of fights that you are taking. It can be really bad to leave yourself open because if you take one shot, it could change the course of the fight. So to fix this problem, make sure you are fully boxed in except the side from which you are attacking your opponent. This is also very important because if you attack in the open, you are susceptible to third parties. The second tip is to not repeat yourself. If you or your opponent are doing the same thing over and over, then stop and think of something you can do differently to catch your opponent off guard. And if you are repeating the same attack, your opponent will eventually realize that and they will figure out how to counter you. I only do the same thing twice and I tend to switch up my tactics. Misdirection is very important in high level fights because the only way to beat someone of similar skill is to outsmart them. If you keep trying to take your opponent's wall, but they are holding it, then try to face through their wall. This will catch them off guard because they think you are trying to take the wall to face through it. Another example is if you keep trying to do the same edit, then try to do a different one at an angle your opponent is open to. Tip number three is to stay on height. Height is one of the best advantages you can have in a fight. There is a reason this clip in Star Wars exists. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! If two people are fighting and they have the same amount of mats, but one has height, who will win? The one who has height will obviously win. This is because they can just look down and shoot them while their opponent is wasting mats, trying to block shots. As soon as a fight starts, look for ways to find height. There are also several advantages to having height. You can have better visibility of your opponent and the surrounding area, allowing you to make informed decisions. If you have height, you can also make stronger cover. It is easier to defend yourself on height, and it will be difficult for your enemy to damage you. And having high ground also allows you to control the flow of the fight. You can choose when to engage, retreat, or heal. Tip number 4 is to predict what your opponent is going to do. The skill takes a while to learn, but it will make you much better at the game. If you can predict what your opponent is about to do, then you can get yourself in a better situation to damage your opponent. An example is, if you are attacking the opponent's box, and you remember that last time you did that, they just ran out of their box, you can use that information to predict that they will retreat, allowing you to go to them and full box them. You can predict your opponent by observing building habits. If they keep building the same way, then do something to catch them off guard. You should also look for weapon swaps, and this is very important to look for. If you are pushing them and they swap from their map to a shotgun, they are about to pre-fire you. You can usually tell what they are going to do depending on what they have equipped, like if they have the pickaxe, they are probably going to take one of your walls. You can also try to bait your opponent to do something and then punish them for falling into your trap. A good example of this is to make a wide open edit and reset really fast, so if they try to shoot you, you can get a free shot on them. Here is an example. Tip number 5 is to play aggressively. This is one of the most important things you can do in a fight. Being aggressive forces your opponent to play defensively and doesn't allow them time to heal, reload, and think. You can get really good at this by being fluent at moving. Fluently building and editing while pushing your opponent can put lots of pressure on them, making room for them to make mistakes. Awareness is also a big part of playing aggressively. If you can always know where your opponent is and what weapons they have been using, then you can be more confident already knowing their capabilities. Being proactive can also be very important when playing aggressively. Making the first move and being aggressive can give you control of the direction the fight is going. Now that I told you how to win more fights, let me show you a few fights while showing you my thought process so you can learn how to think when fighting. And if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe because I upload Fortnite tip videos every week and you don't want to miss them. Alright guys, so as you can see I'm WK and I want to get high as soon as possible like I said earlier. Just want to key height. And then on high, you can just spray down to get some easy damage off. So he's building a lot, so that means he's wasting as much as good for us. Let's go ahead and drop down a little bit so we can shoot him easier. Look, he's right here. He's hiding right in his build, so I can shoot him right when he peeks. He's moving around. Okay, he moved over there. That's where we're gonna sneak up above right here. He's gonna mantle up other builds. Oh, he got mantle up. What the? But try to get height, like I said. Okay, we're on height right now. I'm probably gonna mantle up. Okay, he's boxed up right here, so let's spray him. Try 
Should I take wall? Okay, I think I have his wall. 82, he's spraying, so we're going to hold. Okay, this is very bad. I'm going to back up. Okay, let's go ahead and drink some... Let's make some couple boxes. Remember, like I said, you want to make several boxes before you fight so you can have better chances of healing. So just go ahead and use some fizz. Because I know he's also probably pretty low, so let's go ahead and look down here. Okay, 62 on him, but I'm also pretty low. Okay, we gotta keep height, but we're also low on mats, so let's go ahead and just chill for a second. Side jump, 20. No one's on a mat, so I gotta play careful. Okay, he's cracked, and he died of fall. Alright, so we're full box. We're gonna. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take height as soon as possible. Okay, I'm selling height right now. We have a high gun retake right here. Let's go ahead and chop him down. Let's see if I can make him come down. How is he not being knocked down right now? I think I gotta do this. How is he not being knocked down? What is he being held up by? Okay, there we go. Now he's being knocked down. Let's go to heal up. Let's go to use splash. And what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna... And then use some of this. Should we block our head because he's expecting us to come up here? Okay, hit him for a little bit. Correct. Super low. And died of fall damage again. All of this information will help you if you don't know the fastest way to go pro. So click the video in the middle of the screen. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Jesus loves you and I pray you have an awesome day.